Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Okay, so top dawn, uh, they're fairly, fairly good and they're pretty much um, starting to get serious about their scanners. I got a top dawn tool a few years ago and I was using it and it was purely based on just immobilizers. And for what it was, I think they still sell it now, it's the top dawn T100 Ninja. It did some Australian cars and it was a really good go-to tool and it worked quite well. I did a review on it, um, at which stage I called top dawn, um, top ding dong, as in top dildo, but you know, top dick, they're really cool. But on saying that too, here's, here's the truth about it. I went out and I purchased another one of their tools. I needed a scan tool for the for the vehicles and I purchased this one right here. And I was so, I was happy with it. You know, I only purchased this a few months ago. Um, but I just want to quickly just take you through and just show you. So this is um, RTDG, RTDG 900 Lite. I just want to show you some of the features, okay? So, here comes the box, it's got a nice little rugged case. So apart from the funny names that I call Do Top Don, I do have some respect for them and it's so much so that I have gone out and bought other tools after using their tools. So there we go. All right, so here we have our unit. Now the unit itself, about hands, so we're looking about 200 by about 110. Uh, we've got all the ports on the back, we've got our CAT, our USB, our DC, our HDMI out, and then USB-C, we've even got some headphones, we've got a capture camera so you can like take little pictures of what you're working on or, or VIN numbers, whatever you want, uh, probably have a microphone over, I know it's a reset, and probably a microphone over that side, so it's a really sort of solid Android type platform, we've got our power button, our photo button, on the back here, this is the VCI. I'm not sure what that stands for, somebody can leave it down below, but basically that little dongle is USB, plugs into the OBD, has a C-type charger on the back, so you can actually work it straight to the machine, but you just basically plug that in wirelessly, the car will power that, and then the machine will start talking to it. Has your camera on the back, has this magnetic uh, thing on the back, which I thought was really cool. See? And look, it doesn't fall out. So I like that. I like the carbon fiber look, I like the handle, so I was pretty impressed with this uh, machine as it is. I'll turn it on, just give you a bit of a look at it. We'll take a moment or two just to power on, there we go. That's cooking. Um, under here we have, uh, I won't show you that, that's my pin numbers. Under here we have um, power pack, it's got the Australian configuration, Australian compliant um, terminals, which is good. We have uh, OB to OBD, like a little extension. We have uh, another USB to USB-C, that's that new Android type one. We have some instructions, user manual, stuff like that. Now, I did deregister this because I will be selling it because um, I purchased another one. And uh, one of the things I noticed is that to deregister it, you actually do have to reach out to Top Don. They'll deregister it and then the next person can register it. So you will actually need to register um, before you can use this tool, you need to actually go onto Top Don or do it through the tablet, set up a username and password, and then register your device and your VCI, I think it is, that USB, sorry, the OBD dongle. Once they're all paired up and all registered, you're good to go. Right now, we're good to go. It wouldn't let you in unless you've registered. They also mentioned something about the software having about 12 months, and I was, uh, I questioned, was that 12 months and then the tool will be dead? And I'm pretty sure it's only um, 12 months sort of uh, warranty and support. After that, you should be able to use it. I'd be surprised if you, um, Please activate the V, okay, so that it hasn't been activated. So we've got maintenance diagnostics. This tool does come in a different formation where it actually is for immobilizers. Being locksmiths, we're interested in immobilizers. Exact same tool, but it just basically does immob immobilizers. So you go top down, I'm not sure, RDG, Emo, and you can buy it about 900 bucks worth and I found it to be a fairly reasonable sort of price for what it is You've got other tablets out there as well around that price as well. There is also um, The X tool I was leaning away from the X tool when I saw a lot of reviews about how it didn't work in performing on diagnostics and some key programming So I, I led away from it um, as far as buying this tool. This was purely based on needing to do automotive uh, diagnostics. So it's nothing to do with um, immobilizer. I was told it did have immobilizer, but I'm looking through, I don't think it does. This is purely just a diagnostics one. The other one that I just purchased does have that. Uh, that's got more. But for what I used this uh, machine for, it was fine, it did the job. It didn't do some of the more complicated programming um, steps on automotive. Um, so that's why I've upgraded because this was good enough to reset the service light. This was good enough to, to do um, sort of, you know, go over some charts and graphs and see what pressures you're pushing and things like that. By all rights, this machine should have seen me out five to eight years, maybe even 10 years and doing what I wanted to do with it. But unfortunately, I've come up with a problem with one of the cars where I need that in-depth um, scanner. So unfortunately, this for the price, I think the price came in at about five, 600 bucks. 
I was pretty impressed with it, but unfortunately it's not going to tick the boxes. So um, the design of it and all the rest, love it. Um, I wouldn't mind actually having the Emo one, but on saying that I've got other programmers and now I've gone out and I've bought the big, the big daddy to this one, I don't really need this one. Now I did have the option between Autel, um, Xtool, Top Don and some of the other um, brands that I don't know too much about, but I was impressed with uh, Top Don the way it performed, so I thought I might give it another go. And I like the the way the tablet looks too; it's kind of sexy. So I'm just going to uh, power that off, just like you do any other Android. I'll put it in there, and we'll throw the password in there too, so we don't forget it. And that way, if somebody steals it off me, they can use it. All right, let's pop that away. We've got to think about the thief, you know. If they steal it off you, you want to be able to use it. All right, let's check out the new one. All right. Okay, so it comes in a bigger box. That was the same as the Top Don Ninja. Little machine, big box. So anyway, we're gonna need a blade here. Let's just cut this open. All right, so this one sent me back about 1,400 bucks. Um, it came really quick, I was really happy with it. Um, I wanna be able to code my injectors, so and also do some special functions as far as automotive diagnostics. Now I'm saying that too, this also has um, immobilizer programming. So if I put this, you know, here's the thing. I've got the T Key Tool Max with the OBD, which does a lot of the main brands. I have the Top Don Ninja, which does uh, Holden Ford and some of the Mitsubishis and other sort of brands as well. I have the Lon Store, okay, and then on top of that, uh, we have the Smart Pro. Um, on top of that, I, I have, uh, you know, CK100, the T300, so here's the thing, I don't do that much automotive these days. So by having Immobilizer in it, good, that's an extra buying power for me, but the thing is I've got so many other tools that do pretty much all that as well. But one of the things I was interested in is that when they, um, when Top Don brought out the T100 Ninja, whatever it was, they were pretty much out there testing all the functionality of their device before they sent it to market. And that impressed me because I thought if they're gonna do that, um, you know, on that level, they'll probably be doing it on other levels. Because there's nothing worse than getting a, a, a key programming machine or a programming machine, and it bloody doesn't work. And when I was looking at the reviews for the X-Tool, I was like, oh, X-Tool, that'll do immobilizer and this and that. And then I see people trying to do it and things aren't working. I was like, well, I don't wanna be doing that. Right, let's unbox this. So I've been happy with them so far, so I took another gamble and, and where is it? Oh, here we go. All right, so we have the Top Dawn 